What is the key to sustainable weight loss and fitness? Let's dig into it. Let's start with what doesn't work. And what doesn't work is trying to change all the things all at once. So let me know in the comments if this is you, because I definitely made this mistake. Um, so this is what it looks like in practice. So starting everything at once. So that's it. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to exercise every day. I'm going to start a journaling practice. I'm going to cut out all carbs. No more alcohol. No more coffee. Uh, no more cookies. No more muffins. And I'm going to go to bed early every night. And I'm going to start all of it right now. So yeah, let me know if you tried this, because I definitely tried this. And for those of you who haven't met me, my name is Regis, and I help women over 30 to lose weight and live healthier longer and look great while they're doing it. So for me, when I started, for my all or nothing, or sorry, not my all or nothing, but my changing everything at once it looked like this. I was going to go running every morning. I was going to stretch every day. I was going to cut sugar and cream out of my coffee. And I was going to stretch every day and cut carbs. And for a little while, it worked, like three days. Or so for three days, I was able to do all those changes all at once. But after three days, it was way too much to keep up with. And as you can probably guess, I threw my hands up in the air and then I stopped doing all of it at once, right? And now again, don't worry if this sounds like you because it's okay. Many, many, many women try this approach. And when it leaves them hungry and overwhelmed, they think that there's something wrong with them. They think that they weren't disciplined enough. They think maybe there's something wrong with my body. Maybe I chose the wrong diet. Maybe I chose the wrong exercises. Maybe I'm not doing the exercises enough or with the right frequency or with the right, with the, with the right weights. But that's not what it is. The truth is, is that the key to sustainable fitness and sustainable weight loss is in making small changes one by one. You do not have to overhaul your entire diet and exercise plan all at once to be successful. And in fact, the truth is that if you did it one by one, you'd be way more successful. This is how real change happens, and this is how we make weight loss permanent. I love the saying that small hinges swing big doors. And in weight loss, this is true. So let me give you an example. I have a client that comes to mind, and in the beginning, she was struggling to get moving, to begin exercising. That was something she wanted to do, but she was having a hard time implementing it. And so for her, her one small thing that she decided to start was to go walking a couple times a week. And for a while, this is what she practiced, and this is what she showed up for, and this is what she made change with. And eventually, when that became just part of who she was and just something that she did, she started to layer another small change on top of it. Now, fast forward to now, and she is doing strength training regularly a few times a week. And now that is her small change that she is making permanent, right? That she is making just part of how she is. Taking it one small step at a time and one small change at a time works. So how are you going to start this? I break this down in my intro guide, right? So I'm going to put the link in the comments. And this guide is designed to address the five biggest hurdles that many women come up against when they start trying to lose weight and they start trying to improve their health. So um, the stuff we're talking about right now is on page five of the guide. So hit the link, put in your email, get the, get the, uh, get the guide, and work through this now. So your first step is going to be choosing the first small change that you want to make. And then you're going to focus doing that thing until it becomes second nature. Now, while you're doing this, pro tip is try not to get sidetracked. There's a lot of stuff out there, a lot of things telling you that this is the one diet that's going to work. This is the exercise that you need to be doing if you want to be successful. So try to put the blinders on and just focus on your one small change. Because again, don't let the ads and the posts on Instagram tell you about that silver bullet move or that one food that's going to guarantee your weight loss that you've been missing this whole time. Stick with your one change. Trust me when I say that you will make progress way easier this way. Trying to change everything at once or trying to change too many things at once is the first of the biggest of the five hurdles that many women make, sorry, that many women face. And that is in the in intro guide that I've created for you. Now, I know you might come up against some chatter in your mind when you try to implement this. So you're going to get the guide, you're going to sit down, you're going to list out all the changes you could make, and then you're going to choose which one, the first small change that you're going to make. And there may be some chatter in your mind saying, this isn't going to work, you need to do this and this and this, and don't forget this. But if you have that chatter, don't worry. What I want you to do is to just repeat to yourself softly, 
small hinges swing big doors and keep your eye on that one small change. Now, after you've chosen your one thing that you're going to focus on, I'd love it if you put it in the comments. That way we can share you on. Because like most things in life, weight loss is way more fun when you have other people on your side. Okay, so I'm looking forward to seeing what your one small thing is. Get your guide. Uh, the other four hurdles are in there. Well, again, what we're talking about is on page five. But get your guide with the link and choose your one small thing. And I'm going to see you in the next video.